fire elementals. These are the fire men elementals here. They look pretty badass, don't they? They are badass. You could actually summon these if you were a sorcerer or whatever. I am not, however, so... Should I go into these rooms here? Oh, I don't think any harm I could come. Besides, no one saw me. And I must get evidence so I can judge him fairly. Even though if he has fire minions in this place, it does look weird. Chest of drawers. Gold. What the fuck is this? Break it down! Of course, fire elementals. There's only one this time. Oh no, there's two! Where the hell did you come from? I only saw one. I'm going crazy. Hurry up and die, I want to read the glowing thing. The Journal of Carlot Jareg. Alright, let's read this candle bra. Oh shit. By the dim light of the candle bra, you can decipher the book's ragged text. Read the book. My research into the summoning of the demon Bilal, Lord of Fire, continues. It is rugged work, and my robes are little more than ashen rags as a result. I must preserve, however, for only Bilal knows of the phylactery I seek, a vessel that only the gods have power to destroy. Yes, Bilal is the Lord of Fire, so aside from the customary casting of protection from evil, it shall also take fire to summon him. I am sure that the belly of the fire beetle is the proper region, but what spell? I have cast very every high-level fire spell there is upon that brazier. To no effect, I have tried even those of mid-level, and there is nothing. There is but one fire spell left, of all those known, but that can't be it. I haven't cast since I was a mischievous child, still I must try. So, let's read his journal. A part of me feels guilty for having tricked my brother into such a crime. But it was necessary. I'm growing old my research is not done. These northern wastes are a brutal land, but so full of magic. If only I could be undying, then my studies could go on, unhindered by this call of mortal flesh. I can hear Quint's voice cutting through the walls as he reads the children in the library. I can hear their laughter. Bilal says they must die tonight, all of them, all the children of Charwood. It is a grim task, but for a greater good. I swear to it, there must be blood tonight if I am to fi bind my soul to that phylactery. I think I'm saying that wrong, phylactery, but I don't care. Anyway, I think I've read enough. I've seen my judgment. Carlot apparently tricked his brother into killing the children. Which means I have made my judgment. Already. Run away, run away, run away. Holy shit, that's a lot of fire on I hope you like pain! <laughs> Why are there so many of you bitches around? Kill! So yes, in order... Fuck. Don't get cornered, angel puppets. Don't you dare fucking get cornered. And don't take your sweet ass time killing these things. Oh 
god, fire burns. <laughs> So yes, I believe I will say hmm. Okay. Was, there's no there's no other enemies around, really? Really now, this is- I find this very hard to believe. Well, okay then. This was very easy. Oh, wait, never mind. Flames take you, manling. Die! I'm a woman! Oh, shit. He is... He is tough. He's still- Fuck! Don't! Stop that, stop that, stop that, stop that. Right now, stop that. You don't want to kill me, I'm your friend! You run a lot faster than the other one does. Oh shit! Alright, well, um... I found myself in a pickle here. I will see you guys later, in the next part. When we get to talk to Carla himself! And where the fuck did you come from now? I'm starting to think that you things just like reappear or appear out of nowhere. So yes, we are going to talk to Carla. Find out what his side of the story is. Is he even in there? Yes, he is. Oh god, see you guys later.